everybody, Jeremy the France, Backstage Entertainment, hanging out on our cast bus. How are you guys doing today? Doing great, man. Great Good. Job. Good. For the fans out there that uh, haven't checked you out yet, why don't we just kind of go down the line, starting at the end there, tell your name and what you do in the band. I'm Chad and I play drums. Patrick, I'm the singer. Sully, bassist. And rock guitar. Nice. Now, our cast is kind of a unique name. How did the name kind of come to be? Well, it's it's an old. There's an old saying: the hour has been cast, and uh, it means kind of do or die, and that's the way we've always looked at our right. career in the music business. You know? right. Now is the time. Exactly. And that's only taken ten years. <laughs> <laughs> now is the time. <laughs> that's good. Well, and it's nice to have special meaning like that because some people just they'll throw names in a hat and pick one. But yeah, when you have meaning, it makes for right. better names. So. Now you guys have your newest album out, Dystopia. I mean, if fans are checking you guys out for the first time, what kind of hit songs would you want them to listen to right off the get-go from your album? Dave? Uh, obviously, I think uh, Attraction's a great song. Yep. Attraction's a good one. Uh, one of my personal favorites is Clockwork. It's also like my favorite one to play live. So, how do you guys feel about the rest there? I like them all. Yeah, there you go. Miss. I think miss. everyone has its own yeah. cool vibe to it. Invisible. <clears throat> yeah, they all, I mean, the thing about our band is that we're able to really do some different flavors on the record. And uh, because, you know, we're, we're doing this on our own, we're, we're not just pigeonholed into one type of, of vibe or one type of flavor. So we're able to do a heavy song like Attraction or Zombie, and then turn around and do a song like Invisible or Last Thing I'll Do, and just these big kind of moody, epic kind of songs. And, and that's we really try to put out a record that has some flavor and some variety to it. So that's good. Good. And then your, your first album, which is State of Disgrace, I mean, how would you say the recording process changed from the first album to the second album? Because I've heard with other bands, they felt rushed the first time, took it slower the second time. Was it like that? Or I guess what was it like for you guys? Well, we worked with um, real producers on this record, where the first one was completely self-produced. Okay. And um, we were just kind of out in the wild and figuring things out on our own. This time, working with a producer, they kind of put you in a little box and, and have you be a little more focused. It was a, a really good experience and a really bad experience at the yeah. same time. Yeah. But we learned a lot and um, you know, some things really got better and more refined when we worked with um, Jay, Jay Baumgartner. What do you think, Dave? Uh, yeah, I mean, I agree. You know, you, you, we learned a lot. We learned you know, what not to do. You know, and, um, I think what we need to do in the future is kind of just stick to our guns and then stay true to the Hourcast sound that we really got. Okay. I would say, I think that, that's what I learned the most out of it. I would say the third time you guys probably learned from the first two and you'll change some things you sure. to come here. So. Right. Exactly. And now we talked about uh, your song Attraction and you guys have a new music video for that. What is, I guess, uh, for people that are kind of wondering, what does it take as far as, you know, starting the music video process? to start to finish, like, what does it all intake and how long does it actually take to make the music video? Well, um, you know, this this video is strange because the band wasn't in it for the very first time. It wasn't a performance video right. like you typically see. It's more of like a mini movie. So I'm in the video and uh, obviously adult film star Jesse James in the video, <laughs> which, was, yep. which was an interesting experience. But what happens is, you know, first the band picks a director. And you look at different reels, and you look at the work, you know, their past work, and you try to find a vibe and a style and a look and lighting and things that you like. Yep. Once you select the director and find out if they're available, then you start talking about, um, you know, a storyline for the video. <coughs> and uh, they write what they call a treatment. Mm -hmm. And they start talking about what is the video going to do? Where is it set? What's the storyline going to be? You know, that kind of thing. So you, you toss some treatment ideas around until you finally agree on a final treatment. Right, what you're going to do. At that point, they hire the crew, they hire you know lighting people, camera people. They go out and scout locations. You know, um, then we start booking our flights to go out there. We shot this video in Simi Valley, California, okay. and flew out there and just spent two days out in the wild in Simi Valley, shooting this this video for attraction. It turned out amazing. Like, yeah, we're getting so a lot of really really great feedback. It's, it. it's a really neat video, and for the fans out there that uh, haven't checked it out yet. Once again, it's called Attraction. YouTube it. Go to your guys' website and check it out and stuff too. But uh, yeah, real interesting storyline. So definitely check it out. Now, kind of getting into more of the fun questions here. Uh, 
when you guys are on the road, I mean, you guys are on the road quite a bit. You play for about, what, 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah. Well, how do you guys pass the time the other 23 hours? Smoke uh, crack. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot well, of hacking yeah. going on. <laughs> yeah. We play, play a lot of hacky sack. Actually, on this tour with Black Label, we, we found out, you know, we're huge gamers, huge Xbox gamers, all of us are. Right. You know, when we're on tour and when we're at home. So, one of the things we like to do when we get together is play NHL hockey. You know, we're huge with the EA NHL hockey. Right. And we've been playing every year since I don't know how far back. It's been a couple of years. It's been a couple of years. So when we get together, we always have hockey tournaments. Well, we found out the Black Label guys are playing the same game, oh. NHL 11, on their bus. Okay. So you know, third show in, I think it was Albuquerque. Um, Nick comes up to me, the guitar player at BLS, and he says. He says, I'm here, you guys are playing hockey. And I said, that's right, you're playing hockey. I said, send over your best guy tonight. <laughs> so as soon as the show is over, he shows up at the door with like six people. And there's this huge entourage of people, and we started playing the very first hockey tournament. Right. And I had a little Stanley Cup that we call the Canley Sub. <laughs> I had it made and sitting up on the mantle, and much to my chagrin, they took the Canley Sub that night. So really? we've had this battle going on back and forth. We, we just have a good time. Yeah, well that's good. When you can interact with the bands and actually be friends with them and everything, that's, yeah. that's really cool. But mostly, we spend a lot of time together, and um, you know I think that's important. You know, we, we hang out all day, we go eat together, Very family vibe. play hacky sack, yeah. just you know go shopping, whatever. I mean, we're all just like a roving band of gypsies. Out I think it shows on stage too. You know, once you oh, yeah. keep that family vibe off the stage and yep. when you're on your days off and you're going kicking it with your, your boys mall or whatever and you're on stage it, it look you see that right exactly so it's cool well that's good now if you guys could pick and i don't know have you guys ever covered any songs yet to, on an album or anything we've never released a cover <laughs> haven't okay. we played some covers together d uh, say because that's my question is do you guys plan on covering any or do you want to cover any particular songs wow there's been a few songs that we've kind of considered and you know maybe at some point we get around to it right we yeah. have a longer set maybe. right right now we feel like you know we're paying we're playing about 30 minute sets on this tour and we feel like we really want the audience to hear our stuff. Oh yeah. You know, because we do have a limited time, so we're trying to cram as many of these songs in as we can. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. I mean, yeah, when, it, when the longer set comes, that's probably when you branch out. Yeah, you can have fun with it and kind of probably do a cover oh, yeah. here and there. Yep. Now, is there any kind of crazy fan stories you guys have so far? Being <laughs> yeah, the underwear story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not telling you. You tell the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? I'm not gonna say where we were, <laughs> but there was this one fan, and she just loved dirty underwear. <laughs> and she wanted it from anyone. She didn't care. So I didn't hear about you know, this. The dirtier the better. The dirtier the better. So a couple of us better. gave up our underwear for this girl, which is kind of a strange story. <laughs> um, I don't know why. And now it's on eBay. Right. Actually, <laughs> wasn't our lighting guy Bill who gave up? Oh, this? he did, and it was. In fact, I think he wiped with. Him. <laughs> All I remember is it was it was after the show and we were hanging out at the bar next door. Right. And she finally she kept asking everybody. We were like, no, you can't have her underwear. And finally, Bill said, fuck it, I'll give you my underwear. <laughs> and he goes into the bathroom and he's in there for a few minutes and he comes walking by with the boxer shorts. He was probably twenty feet away from me and I could smell him. <laughs> and he handed him to her and she just put him right up to her face and then put him in her purse. Yeah. <laughs> that's probably the craziest story. That's pretty crazy. Crazy. <laughs> like that oh, yeah, that's, that's wow. a crazy story. I wonder what happened to her as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Wow. Uh, Try to be able to think about that. <laughs> kind of on a lighter side. Uh, <laughs> what, uh, what bands that, that you've toured with have probably been the best to work with and kind of just hang out? It sounds like Black Label Society is on top of that yeah, list. They are. So cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the bands we've been out with. You know, I can't, yeah, I can't complain about any band we've been out with because, uh, you know, we try to keep our heads on the straight out of here. I think we're professional and, and we're um, very polite and very thankful to be in this life and have, a, have this lifestyle. Yep. And, um, you know, we've been really trying to build the band up, so we've been opening for a lot of bands over the past few years. And everybody from Godsmack to, I mean, Seven Dust gave us our start, and they were the coolest guys ever. Matt Lejeune oh, yeah. and Morgan, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, yeah. they they just took us under our wing, and that kind of set the tone. 
I think to how we behave since then. Yeah. And we always come up and we're respectful and we're professional. We're just here to, to play our music and, and support these other bands. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Yeah, have a good time with them. Like, Absolutely. Sounds like you're doing. Yeah. Well, lastly, for the fans, kind of tell them where they can go check out our cast for more information. Well, let's see. Of course, ourcast.com. It's with an H. Nerdbook. And Facebook. Um, then there's Twitter. YouTube.com. YouTube. YouTube has a bunch of our videos. Um, what about Xbox? We got a whole campaign going on oh, Xbox yeah, right, right now. Yeah. On Xbox dashboard. And what else? Wikipedia. <laughs> Actually, I don't think we're on Wikipedia. <laughs> well, you better be. Somebody get on that, please. <laughs> we exist. Yep. All right. Well, once again, go check out their new album, Dystopia. Stores. You can come and smoke a lot of crack with us. There you go. There you go. Smoke crack with our cat. <laughs> New record. New record. All right, guys, check them out. What do I have to do for you? Tear out my heart and eat it too. Just for a taste of your.